the actions of Kensington and Chelsea Council are to be considered in the Grenfell Tower fire inquiry. But campaign groups working with survivors are concerned that the scope of the public inquiry is still too narrow, failing to include the issue of social housing in its terms of reference. Well, the inquiry will look at the cause and spread of the fire the design, construction and refurbishment of Grenfell Tower, the regulations relating to high-rise buildings, the actions of Kensington and Chelsea Council and other bodies before the tragedy, the response of the fire brigade and both local and central government in its aftermath. Charlotte Lomas reports. To have justice, to have the exact happenings be uncovered. Why uh, the, the, the council uh, treated the residents the way they did before and after the fire happened. Why it has, it, it was so, it spread so quickly. Why, uh, you know, it is something unheard of. I've never seen something like this. The voices of three people directly affected by the Grenfell Tower fire. They have different stories to tell, but all want the same thing, justice for those who died. Kareem Masili is still waiting for news about his uncle Hesham, who lived on the top floor of the tower. He says he's pleasantly surprised by the terms of reference for the public inquiry. I think the amount of pressure that he's, uh, the judges had put on him from the, the, the community, the resident, the survivors, the, the bereaved family, um, he, he couldn't have, have made it quite a narrow investigation. It had to be wide. He had to, he had to listen. He had to, he had to include a lot of the details that, that we wanted because at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's our investigation. Antonio Roncalato was inside the tower when the fire broke out. He managed to survive in his flat for six hours before he was rescued. Almost nine weeks later, he's still living in a hotel with his son. They did a fantastic job with new windows, with double glazing, uh, with uh, a beautiful cladding on the outside. And how come that these, uh, uh, for instance, the, the windows were in the flat where I was staying, they were not airtight, there was smoke coming through. Basically, you know, a brand new job done like this is unbelievable. For local resident Jackie Haynes, the terms laid out by the judge, Sir Martin Morbick, don't go far enough. While it will look into the cause of the fire and the actions of the council, she feels the scope needs to be wider to include issues around social housing. If we don't look at those and people aren't made accountable and people don't realise that people in social housing are just as important as the bricks and mortar, then it's not going to make any change for the better. And we've got a future for social housing to secure and to improve. This issue won't be directly addressed by the public inquiry, but the government insists it's something they're taking seriously. People have raised issues around social housing policy more widely. Uh, and uh, this, of course, is an absolute priority for the Prime Minister and the government. Uh, and that is why I will be conducting a listening exercise uh, across the country, talking to social housing tenants on issues uh, where social housing policy has worked and where it hasn't worked. The government has promised to listen to those affected by the fire. And those people say they'll keep on talking for as long as it takes. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News.